Hello, my name is Fatma Dinvir. I am a Mediria intern. And in this video, I will be teaching you some simple ways to edit your research papers using the Microsoft Office Word review features. This video was compiled under the mentorship of Dr. Daik. Let's go. So Microsoft Word is a fairly common program, but if this is your first time, you should know that this is a graphical word processing program that was designed by Microsoft. It's compatible with a number of devices, including computers as well as smartphones, and you can use it to create, format, and edit documents, for example, research papers. And in this video, I will be going over the editing features offered by this software. <clears throat> So Microsoft or MS Word offers a unique set of tools and these make editing papers fairly effortless. These range from simple spell checks and grammar checks to more advanced options, for example, getting comments from multiple reviewers. And I will be going uh, through each of these one by one. Now, in order to access any of these options, the first thing you have to do is go to the review tab as indicated by the red arrow in the toolbar. <clears throat> so before editing any document, the first thing that you have to do is protect your original document. Now you can do this the old fashioned way by saving your document under a different name, or you can do this via uh, some of the options that are offered by MS Word. Uh, so the first one um, that you can access by clicking on protect in the toolbar is the read only option, which basically enables people to view your document but not make any changes to it. You can also restrict permission, in which case people will be able to gain access to your document, uh, but this removes their ability to make any edits or copy or print your document. And then there's a few more options which you can access by clicking on protect document as indicated by the green arrow. Here's a zoomed up view of that. You can basically um, set up a password to open this document, set up a password to modify this document. And you can also protect the document for tracked changes. So what this means is that people will be able to edit, uh, make edits, but all of these edits will be tracked. Um, you can also protect the document for comments, uh, in which case people will only be able to make comments and not um, edit the document directly. There's also the read only option, which once again um, enables people to view it, but not make any changes to it. Next is the spelling and grammar check. Fairly easy, but can be a lifesaver. So any incorrect um, spelling or grammar will be highlighted by a red or green line respectively. As shown in the first picture, there has been an incorrect spelling. Then you click on grammar and um, spelling check in the toolbar. And this will uh, show you a pop-up with a number of different suggestions as to how you can change um, the incorrect word. So you can choose whichever one um, you think fits best, click change, and there you go. There's also a thesaurus option, which once again is very simple to use. Um, you can highlight any word, um, click on the small dictionary icon towards the top left, and this will show you a list of synonyms for the word that you have selected, uh, and um, you can select whichever one you want. Word count. So um, all you have to do is click on the one, two, three, or ABC symbol towards the top left in the toolbar. And this will show you not just the words, um, but also the number of characters with or without spaces, as well as the pages, the paragraphs, and lines. Now it's important to note that by default, without you clicking on anything, the number of words that are currently present in your document will always be displayed in the status bar below as shown by the red arrow. And these will be updated right as you add or subtract a word, so they will keep you up to date as you go. Very useful. Uh, you can also do a selective word count um, by highlighting exactly which lines or which paragraph you want to count for. And once again, the number of words will be shown in the status bar. So um, the comments feature is one of the most coveted review features offered by MS Word. And the reason for that is not only uh, does this allow multiple people to give their suggestions on how to edit the paper, but it also makes things very easy for you um, by helping you distinguish exactly which suggestion was made by whom. Um, these suggestions and comments can be localized to a paragraph, a line, or even down to a word. 
Um, they can, of course, be edited or deleted later, and um, they won't show up on print, but they will be sent with the document whenever you email it. So the recipient will be able to um, view these comments as well. How to make a comment. So um, basically what you have to do is localize exactly where it is that you want to make the comment. Um, for example, in this uh, over here, I've selected the word most. I will then click on new comment and type whatever comment I need to make towards um, the right of the page. That's it. So when we make all of these different changes, it becomes important to keep a track of all of these edits as you go. And you can do this by turning on the track changes option from the toolbar. And um, furthermore, you can also select using the markup options exactly which edits you want to track. For example, comments, insertions and deletions, etc. And um, these will be shown by highlighting them in a different color, by underlining them, or by writing them down in a column. There's also um, an option for the, uh, the displays for review. And what this basically means is that you get to control exactly which form of your document you want to see. Um, for example, do you want to see your original document, which as the name suggests, um, shows you the document without any changes that have been made. There is also a no markup option, which basically shows you the document with changes but it doesn't highlight or track any of these changes. So essentially it shows you how the changes will look. There's also a simple markup option, which um, puts a red line in the margin exactly where a change has been made. And the last one is the all markup option. This is the most detailed among all of these, and it will show you all the edits made by all the different people. And to make things easier for you, it's going to color code. For example, over here, the first um, edit is shown by blue, which was made by user one, and the edits made by user two are shown in red. The last feature that I would like to go over in this video is the compare option. Now, when you want to compare your original and your reviewed document, you can do it once again the old fashioned way by opening your original document, opening the new document and manually comparing between the two, which can be taxing. So what I would suggest is using the compare feature on MS Word. All you have to do is click on compare. This will show you a pop up and enable you to select the original document as well as um, a revised document. And once you click OK, this is the view that you will get. So basically, all of the changes, all of the differences that were present between the two selected documents will be shown to you, and um, this will make things a lot easier for you. Um, in the end, I'd like to leave you with this. Worse than a bad review is to be ignored. So it's always good to be open to a constructive critique, whether it's from yourself reviewing your work for the 15th time or from your friends, your colleagues, or your mentors. It's always good to give yourself room to grow and become better. That is it from my side. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Have a good day. Thank you and see you next time.